And uh, this is it. You just had to be the winner, huh? Oh, yeah, never mind that, Jude. So tell me, who's your friend? I suppose that you know this girl. Uh, yeah. She's an old friend of mine. Uh, how do I explain this? Leia, meet Mila. Hello, Mila. <gasps> hey, what's wrong with her legs? Run and get the doctor! Stat, this woman needs help! Right! Roger! Are you heading home? I'll come with you. Here, use this! Woohoo! We are here at... Uh... Ah... I don't even try to... Pronounce this name... But this is the birthplace of, uh, of Jude. People used to be able to exocate spirit foss fossils from the mines of Lorand. I know the very idea of spirit fossils sounds ridiculous, but they really do exist. Mm, okay, let's try to speak with everyone here. Each year is divided into four seasons. Even spirit clients change when the seasons do. Everyone knows that. It's Ephrata, Ranome, La Sylph, and Undis. Uh, they aren't called like this. What are the four seasons again? Oh! So those were the names of the four seasons. Hey, Leia. Talk later, let's hurry to the clinic. Yeah. We should, we should, but I would like to talk with the people around this place. Let's buy some stuff. Ah nothing. We won't buy anything here. It's not a good shop. It's full of uh, things what I have. Okay. Hello grandpa. In the older days, Loran was a lovely place. The sea used to be completely clogged with ships, all laden with newly mined ore. Don't get me wrong, it's a nice quiet town now, but sometimes I kinda miss those days. Mm. Old man. Why are all the places <laughs> look the same way? When the season changes, strong winds always blow. These are called the interseasonals. And the best sailors know how to put the, them to good use. Hmm. Okay. Why do all the bays look the same way? Well, oh. never mind. Let's go. Let's continue our journey after we talk with this. All the mines in La Ronde have been sealed. Why you ask? Well, because they ran out of ore, of course. What other, other reasons could there be? 
Yeah, it's the same. Um, where is the door? Oh, here it is. Let's go. Oh, so the bay is uh, next to the city. It's really cool. Wow, is that you, Jude? You look so much bigger now. How have you been, Jude? Leia has been so lonely since you left town, you know. Yeah, by the way, who is this Leia girl? Is she... Well, in love with Jude? Well, some way? There are two kinds of spirit clients in Leron, the starry skies and the blue skies. And when the stars hit the blue sky, they fall to the earth and become the ores that fill our minds. Well, that's the legend anyway. It's charming, if a little bit silly. Or is this a uh, girl a childhood friend? Oh, well, maybe. Maybe it's a uh, much more childhood friend. Welcome home, Jude. My, how Fenmont has changed you. You have the face of a city boy now. Hmm. It seems that everyone knows Jude here. I'm sure I don't need to tell you this, but you should stay away from the old uh, Wickel mine. Okay, the place is just a massive, massive monster nest these days. Let's try to enter this, this house. Oh! Was this actually my destination? Jude! How's the big city treating you? Do you like the capital? Hmm? Who's this? Oh, you ready to see me now, Doctor? I'm sorry, everyone. We have an urgent case here. You'll have to come back in the afternoon. Sorry, everybody. We'll catch you later. Promise! <laughs> You've really gotten into the swing of things here, Alea. Best nurse in town. Also the only nurse in town. But hey, you know how it is. Bring her in. Thank you. Try not to worry. Your friend is in good hands. Have faith in your dad. You look like you've been through the ringer. Wanna tell me about it? Yeah. Well, I don't even know where to start, Mom. How about at the beginning? Well, I guess it all began with my professor back in Fenmont. Doctor! Doctor! Yes, what's wrong? My grandpa was working on the roof and he fell. He's out cold. Don't worry, I'll be right there. I need to leave for a bit. Hold down the fort, will you? Huh? But you just got here! I'm sorry. We'll have to catch up later. It's fine, Mom. Duty calls. Looks like the little crybaby is all grown up now, huh? Crybaby? I hardly ever cried as a kid. <laughs> I was just trying to get a rise from you. You're no fun. Hmm. So serious. I guess the big city turned you into a bona fide adult. Dr. Mathis. Hey, Dad. Come with me.
The patient is suffering from more than just leg injuries. Your journey has left her with a drastically weakened immune system. Why didn't you prescribe rest? <sighs> Answer me. Surely they taught you better than this in med school. I'm... I'm sorry. Have you informed her of the nature of her condition? I did. I told her you might be able to heal her. So you lied to her? What? It's the truth, isn't it? You've done it before. <sighs> Jude, Jude, Jude. You seem to think that using an Asparixis is a simple procedure. As routine as an appendectomy. In this case, it is impossible. But, Dad... Jude! The device attaches directly to the nerves and causes incredible agony. Few patients can bear it. Why exactly are you home, anyway? What happened to med school? Answer me, young man! So this is how you're gonna be? Jude! Thank you... for the consultation. What got into him? <sighs> the procedure might be explained in the medical files. If Dad won't help me, I'll do it myself. Better check the archives. Hmm, Jew's family is uh, kind of weird. Ah, oh, search the archives. Ah. Uh... Let's check the archives, and where are the archives? Room 2... Archives. Hmm. We are going here. Yeah. This is a, a really strange family. Do you welcome your child? Long not seen child like this? Oh my goodness. They are so rude. Ah, I, it's no wonder that uh, Jude wasn't really happy about to come back here. Looking for this? I knew you wouldn't give up just because your dad turned you away. Thanks, Leia. Wow, my old man really is a genius. They sure didn't teach us techniques like this at med school. Apparently, it requires a special stone. The kind of stone isn't written here, though. Yeah... Dad took detailed notes of the entire procedure. As long as we have the device, we should be able to heal Mila. But is Mila up for it? I heard the last patient to undergo the procedure cried uncle after eight seconds. He chose to remain paralyzed rather than endure the treatment. It's that painful, huh? You know, maybe you should just forget about this. What if your friend goes through all that torture for nothing? It's worth the risk. I'm going to do it. If you say so. Well, you should check the box up there. What's in it? The Asparixis! Yeah. I found it after I started helping here, when I was cleaning up. Let's go to Mila's room. I want to try this. Oh, uh, wait! I'm coming too! Hmm... Um... Yeah... This is really a good question. Do you endure pain and, uh... Well... Pain like, uh, like hell... For... For the recovery? 
even if it's uh, not for sure that it will work. What are you doing? Shh. We can't let my dad hear us. Why not? We're gonna use the Asperixis on you now. But your father just told me it was impossible. Leia, give me a hand. Uh, uh sure. Here, you'll want to lay down on your side. Feel anything? Any pain? No, nothing at all. My leg still won't budge either. Why isn't it working? I don't sense any mana in this stone. Your father said that an Asperixis needs a spirit fossil, or it won't work. A spirit fossil? Those things really exist? Oh. So the special stone mentioned in the medical files is a spirit fossil. Your father also said the fossil has to be used immediately after it's uncovered, or it loses its mana. Great. As if the procedure wasn't already tricky enough. Hold on. I swear I remember that they used to find spirit fossils down in the Felgana mine. Are you serious? Whoa, jeez, be quiet. It's just something my dad told me. Mila, it sounds like we need to take you out for some field medicine. That seems like a lot of work. You'll do that for me? Here. Thank you. Jude, can you help her into the wheelchair? What about you? I have to get stuff ready. I'll meet you at the edge of town. Hmm. I haven't been back here in a while, but the town hasn't changed one bit. Has you bought the woods to the Falcon and the mine? Alrighty, so we are going there and uh, we will try to get a fossil or something like that. I guess this isn't a good time to see my dad. Yeah. And uh, help Mila to recover. That's a really, really nice thing. But. Let's talk about they this. They say that back uh, during the mining boom, this whole street was packed with merchant stalls. Is that right? I was just thinking how much this quiet little street fits you. Eh. So, Jude, you move to the city and then come strutting back here like some sort of conquering hero. Hey, let's try to catch up more later. Till then, to hell with you. Oh, this guy hates me. Hmm. Well, never mind. I think, if I remember well, there were some Jude haters at uh, the universe too, so... Meh. Let me check this room, or this place. What is this? A lobby. Oh, a sleeping place. And a food place. Is that woman who came back with you, your girlfriend, Jude? Dear me, Prue, Leia can't compete with that. Oh yeah, then my guess was was alright. It's great to see you back home, Jude. And it looks like city life hasn't softened you up any. Hmm. Cool. Oh, loads of rooms. Let's check them. Oh, hi there. I guess this town has some doctor who performs special treatments or something. 
people were talking about uh, it way over at the Lakutam Sea Haven. Hmm, Lakutam. Or something like that. More people here? Oh, neat. My hobby is collecting minerals and ores, rocks, and in layman's terms. As Lorenz was once a mining town, there should be plenty of rare stones in the area. Would you help me look for them? Yeah, of course, if I'm going there. Wonderful, especially... Specifically, specifically, I'm looking for a block of quartz. I simply want that and uh, I will beg you to get that for me because that's my dream. And uh, that's what I wanted to tell you. Oh, hello. If you are looking for loggings in uh, Laurent, this place is the best. I've used this place for over 20 years. Hmm. Nice. So, where are we going? Mm, outside from this place. And outside from the town. Oh. Alright, I'm good to go. The mine's been closed for a while, so I hope you're ready for some spelunking. Alrighty, new party member. And I have a, a mining kit and a city life conversation. So what was Fenmont like? Come on, you have to tell me everything. Was it like super cosmopolitan? Were you able to make friends? I don't know. It was pretty normal. What, that's it? That's all you have to say? You're always boring everyone with long-winded explanations, but when I ask a question, I get the cold shoulder. Come on, you're blowing things out of proportion. Listen, you're gonna talk and you're gonna tell me everything. You have 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8. Well, there was a nurse at the school named Prin who was always really nice to me. But on the day I went to see my professor, I got attacked by a girl in red clothes. So then I couldn't go back to the school anymore. Although that did result in me meeting Mila. Oh, and in terms of other friends, I met this girl named Elise. Fine, I got it. Message received loud and clear. You met all sorts of other girls while you were away. Good job, Jude. I'm so happy for you. I see you haven't changed a bit. Nah, jealous girl. Alrighty. There are two mines near this town. Falgana and uh, Wikali. But both of them are uh, boarded up now. Too bad that folk used to be able to dig up some real valuable spirit fossils in the Falcon mine. Yep, we are going there. Lady Mila, I finally caught up with you. Ivor, what are you doing here? When I saw your face on the wanted posters, I knew I just had to find you right away. But what about your duty to protect Nia Kara? 